Are you a beginner and you want to learn crypto? You want to learn how you be able to make money in your sleep and make billions of dollars? Well, you in the right place, baby. <laughs> nah, I'm just serious. <laughs> What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Jeremy Cash. And today, like I said, I'm going to show all beginners how to start investing in crypto. We are now heading into a time where everything is going digital. Recently, JB, which y'all should know who that is, announced an executive order to get rid of the fiat dollar and move into digital currency. Now, why is that? That's interesting, right? So if you're not on this wave, you will get left behind. So I'm here to show you exactly how to do it and how to do it the right way. Let's go. So yeah, I know before we start this video, I have to do a scripture of the day. Scripture of the day is Proverbs 17 through 27. Whoever restrains his words has knowledge and is a man of understanding. Even a fool who keeps quiet is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. So all that means is there's a time to be quiet. You don't got to say everything that's on your mind because words can really hurt. So even though people are getting on your nerves, you got to learn how to restrain your words. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, so right now we are on Coinbase. This is one of my favorite crypto investing platforms. It's actually one of the most used crypto trading platforms because it's so trustworthy. Now they do have other alternatives for beginners like Cash App, which is really good as well. I'll go over that a little bit. And then they have more advanced uh, crypto trading platforms like Binance and other things out there. Uh, but we'll get to that at a later date. Now, the first thing you want to do when you go to Coinbase is you, of course, you want to sign up and make an account. So I do have a link link in the description below that you can use. It is an affiliate link. I'll get a piece of you know money and then you'll get a piece of money for signing up. So, you know, you could do it like that. But after that, you're able to come in here, deposit money. So you simply click on buy and sell. Now, if you're on your phone, it may look a little different, but on the computer, you click buy and sell and they will give you a screen that looks something like this. Now your pay with may be something different. You'll just have to click here. And then from there, you can link your bank account, credit card, whatever it is, and then you will be able able to show which coin that you're wanting to purchase. So right now I have it on Bitcoin, but they, as you see, they have tons and tons and tons of coins that you can purchase. And then from there, you just put in the amount. Let's say you want to do $342, a random number like that. And then you could preview the buy, buy it. And then from there, it will come into your balance. From there, you are now holding Bitcoin. It's that simple. So people always ask, you know, Bitcoin right now is trading at, you know, $38,000. And they say, well, I don't have $38,000 dollars to invest well with coinbase and a couple other platforms you could buy fractions of the coin so you can buy as little as ten dollars of bitcoin and you know it will still do you some justice it will still be as if you put your money in a high yield savings account that's giving you interest on your money daily okay now it's always best to buy in at its lowest price so right now is a great time to buy bitcoin because it's at a very very low spot as you can see if i click on bitcoin now it's trading at like i said thirty eight thousand four hundred forty seven dollars boom okay so originally if we go back if we go way back the history of bitcoin so let's go all the way back to about 2014 bitcoin was only 104 dollars and 86 cents okay so the people who got in and bought, you know, full shares of it are now billionaires and multimillionaires. OK, uh, and not to say that everybody who gets in Bitcoin is going to be filthy rich or nothing like that. But just to show you the potential of it uh, is is really, really, really good. And so from here, as you can see, as we continue to go up around 2017, got up to 16,000. And then at its highest point, we got up to 69,000, around 70,000 in November of 2021. And since then, as it dropped and it's been going up so i usually always buy low and then we ride it up and we cash out in another video i will be showing you exactly how to day trade it now this is just buying and holding what i'm explaining to you now so buying and holding is when you just buy it and you don't touch it you just let it let it do what it's gonna do and day trading is when you can you know make money pretty much every single day so we'll go over that as well now let's go over some of the other coins that you guys may have heard of so we do have what we call meme coins and meme coins are like shiba inu you got dogecoin 
You got like Safe Moon, Floki Inu, you know, uh, Kish Inu, all these different, a lot of those basically started off as a joke, but soon became something very serious once people grabbed a hold of it. And let me tell you something about crypto. It's best to buy when the price is really low. So right now, Shiba Inu is not even a dollar yet, right? It's under a dollar. Dogecoin is at 13 cents. Right, and so you remember the example I gave you with Bitcoin many years ago when it was only $104 and now it's worth 38,000. The same could happen potentially. Now it's not a guarantee, but the same could happen potentially with something like this here, right? And that's why people get so excited about it. Now, crypto.com as well is a, a really, really, really promising crypto for the future because you guys know the Staples Center that was in Los Angeles has now changed its name to crypto.com stadium. So this right here has the potential to be something really great and it's only 30 cents. So I usually tell people if you're gonna buy, you can buy and hold it uh, for the long term. Now. A lot of the meme coins are a lot of hype around it. So they pump them up. Basically a lot of people buy in at once to boost the price up and then they'll sell off once they make their money and then the coin just drops dramatically. So, you know, a lot of times that happens as well. So you gotta be mindful of that. Now we can move to altcoins and altcoins are just alternative coins to Bitcoin. So a few altcoins, you got Cardano, Solana, you got Polkadot. There's a whole lot of coins out there. And so these are coins like I said, there are alternatives to Bitcoin because we know, like I said, Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin is very high. So you could also, you know, invest in some of these top branded alternative coins, 77 cent here, $86 here, you know, and you have so on and so forth. Now I'm going to show you how to send and receive Bitcoin or whatever crypto it is that you're wanting to invest in. So if you want to send it to someone else, you'll click this send and receive here at the top right. And then here you can pick whatever coin that you're wanting to send. So let's say I wanted to send Bitcoin. I'll click that. I'll put the amount that I'm willing to send. I can put the person's email address for their account on Coinbase that I want to send it to. I just hit continue and then I'm able to send Bitcoin to someone else. So it could be a friend, family member, anybody like that. If I want to receive, I go to the receive tab. Same rules apply here. I click this tab. I can pick whichever currency I want to send. I mean, currency I want to receive is what I mean. They give you an address. You simply just copy that address and then you send it to the person that that's wanting to send you Bitcoin. You send it to them, they'll put that address in and the money comes directly to you and then it will end up in your account balance here. Now let's talk about security on Coinbase and why a lot of people really like it. If you go here to your profile and you click on settings, so let's click on that and then you come here to security. You wanna make sure all this stuff is filled out like phone numbers, authenticator, they have an authenticator app that sends you a code and then you have to put that code in to actually log in. And then they do have the security key feature, which is what a lot of people like. So it's actually a physical thumb drive that saves your Bitcoin on it. And the only way somebody can get access to it is if they click the button physically in person. So if they don't have that secret key, even though they may hack your account, they can't access to your, they can't get access to your money without that actual physical thumb drive. And so these are things that a lot of people want to keep in place. So that way they can protect their account. So as you can see, as a beginner, you are able to come in here, set up you an account and get straight to business. Now, like I said, buying and holding is your best bet for a lot of these coins that are under $600. A lot of them are only 17 cent. I mean, you got some that are very, very low. And then you could also like buy fractions of Bitcoin and stuff at the same time. So this right here is a beginner version of how to start investing in crypto. Hopefully you learned something today. So go ahead and click the link below, create you an account and you guys will be able to get set up. Now in my next video, like I said, I will be showing you how I day trade Bitcoin and different currencies and I will show you that so that way you guys know fully how to really invest in this crypto okay so that way you're not left behind thank you guys for watching make sure you comment like let me know what you think and lord willing I will see you guys in another video peace going in different locations how they got one I need some direction me and bitch go up every session cook it up yeah you know it's no pressure yeah you know how we do what we all in we can slow up and you never get